If you've ever played or watched UIM, you know that Ultimate Iron Man demands creativity and thinking outside of the box. This means taking full advantage of storage options, but also leaning on items that might otherwise go overlooked by a player with access to a bank. Whether it's expanding inventory space, increasing transportation options, or reducing the need to resupply, every little advantage that a UIM can possibly get should be carefully considered. Today, I'm counting down my list of the top 10 overpowered Ultimate Iron Man items. Let's get into it. Storable Good, the UIM motto. The range cape is my pick for number 10 today, which can indeed be stored on the cape rack in your POH. Yes, the accumulator and assembler variants provide superior range bonuses, but having the option to easily grab an ammo saver off of your cape rack is incredibly convenient. Not to mention, the trimmed version comes with a plus 4 prayer bonus, which is sometimes preferable anyway. Having immediate access to a useful item is rare for UIMs. Usually we have to death bank or run halfway across the map to find what we need, but this cape is readily available in the POH and a very nice reward for the expert UIM archers out there. Obviously, inventory space is at a premium for ultimates. This means that hybrid equipment that works well for a variety of PVM situations is incredibly valuable. For the UIM ring slot, this is the Ring of Suffering imbued. The imbued suffering provides beefy defense bonuses across the board, and even comes with a generous plus 4 prayer boost. Tankiness is especially useful for ultimates since taking more damage means eating more food, and we don't usually have a lot of that on us. If that wasn't enough, the imbued suffering can be charged with recoils to make it a near bottomless ring of recoil. Helpful in a variety of places, but especially with Zolra for the snakelings. Without it, we'd have to make a fresh recoil after every run, but instead we can fully recline and grind out that blowpipe. Endgame weapons and storability don't overlap all that often for ultimates, but the Bofa is an exception. Second only to the Twisted Bow, the Bofa is not only storable, but its corrupted version provides unlimited ammo. Locked behind the burly skill requirements of Song of the Elves, the Bofa Source, the Corrupted Gauntlet, is a PVM activity with a steep learning curve and less than generous drop rates. Obtaining the Bofa will require a long time investment, but with uses all around the game, the Bofa is absolutely essential for any UIM that hasn't yet claimed a Twisted Bow from raids. Wearable Healing Device This is the Blood Fury, and this amulet provides some of the biggest benefits for endgame UIM PVM across all items in the game. The normal Fury is already fantastic. It grants excellent bonuses across the board, making it a stellar choice for UIM hybrid gear. When combined with the Blood Shard, however, the effect gets even better, as players get a 20% chance of healing for 30% of the damage they deal when meleeing NPCs. For ultimates, this is a game changer as it directly translates to more food at no inventory cost. It's especially helpful when learning new content like Tob or Chambers, since it allows your mistakes to go less punished. The upkeep for the Blood Fury can be a bit of a nuisance, but such a powerful effect can't go understated, and it's my personal and permanent amulet of choice. With the POH being arguably the most important utility for ultimates, you'll find yourself teleporting there a lot. Requiring a Law, Earth, and Air rune, the Teleport to POH spell will either fill up your rune pouch or cost you three precious inventory spaces. That is, unless you take advantage of dust runes. Available even in the early game, dust runes combine earth and air runes into one and will immediately save you an inventory space at minimal cost. Once you hit 65 Slayer for dust devils, stacking them up becomes effortless and you've basically unlocked yourself a free slot forever. UIM Herbler training sucks. It's slow and tedious. I hope you like doing herb runs because without those, well, have fun. Constant herb runs require a lot of seeds though, and with no space to spare, the seed box is an absolute godsend for ultimates. We can't use the seed vault in the farming guild, so having a portable budget vault that can hold six types of seeds is a game changer. 
Master Farmers, Slayer, and Farm Runs are all made easier by the seed box, and claiming one only requires an investment of a few hours of Tithe Farm. That is one heck of a trade-off if you ask me. Okay, hear me out on this one. The Strength Cape is a game changer for ultimates. The cape's perk allows for unlimited teleports to the Warrior's Guild, which is quick access to a bank for unnoting supplies, but more importantly the guild contains a food shop selling cheap, cheesy potatoes. Strength Capers enjoy the perk of never having to worry about replenishing food sources or spending GP on pricey alternatives. With a heal of 16 per potato, these will get you through even some high-end PVM content without breaking a sweat. If that wasn't enough, strength, attack, and defense potions are all stocked right next door. Does 99 strength take a bit to get? Yes, but when it gets you a PVM supply easy button for the rest of your UIM career, I say it's worth it. Combo runes like dust runes are great, but even if you pack your inventory full of them, you're still going to be using up a lot of slots for all of the spells you'll need to cast. This is where the rune pouch comes in. For a moderate time investment, UIMs can get their bankless hands on this pouch that holds three rune stacks, immediately freeing up two inventory spaces. Previously, the pouch was only obtainable through Bounty Hunter, but today you can obtain one of these either through the Last Man Standing minigame or from a Slayer Master for 750 Slayer points. This is one of those items that you'll keep for life and it's a must have for ultimates of all experience levels. With Teleport to House costing a Law, Earth, and Air rune, you'll likely find your rune pouch at least partially filled up with POH tellies at all times. The construction skill cape completely eliminates this problem. Providing infinite teleports to your POH, this skill cape frees up your rune pouch slots to use for thralls, ancients, alks, or whatever else you might need. If that wasn't good enough already, the cape provides unlimited teleports to each of the POH portals, which include Remington, Taverly, Polnavich, Hosidius, Rilekka, Brimhaven, Yanil, and Priftinus. Excluding the Max Cape, the Construction Cape is arguably the most valuable transportation asset you'll ever unlock on an Ultimate Iron Man, and a fantastic reward for grinding your way to 99. If you are enjoying today's countdown, please take just a second to leave a like, and consider subscribing for more content in your sub box. Thank you. Number one should come as no surprise to anyone, it's the Looting Bag. Essentially doubling UIM storage capacity, the bag grants 28 additional storage spaces and is as near a hard requirement for ultimates as you can get. Previously, UIMs could only deposit into the bag while standing in the wilderness, but a recent update allows us to now place items inside if we're standing within the walls of the Ferox Enclave. Now, with less stress than ever, the looting bag is all upside for ultimates and hands down the single most overpowered item for us in the game. That wraps up today's video, I have some very exciting new concepts that I'm just starting to work on, and I can't wait to share them all with you in the new year. I just want to quickly give a heartfelt thank you to everyone who's watched and subscribed over the last few months. Your reception of my content has been overwhelmingly positive, and I truly can't thank you all enough. I look forward to producing more content for you all in the future, and here's to a new year of RuneScape and in real life gains. Thanks so much for watching, I will see you all in 2022.